lesson. Today is lesson 11.9 and 11.10 on time. Do now. Lesson 11.9, look at each clock. Determine how much time has gone by. Write the time in hours and in minutes. 11.10, use a red crayon and fill in the thermometer to match the temperature. Do your best. Fluency, determine what the number is from expanded form to standard form. Feel free to pause the video and write down your answers and see if they match. Number one, 500 plus 20 plus eight equals 528. Number two, 700 plus 80 plus four equals 784. Number three, 900 plus 30 plus nine equals 939. Number four, 300 plus 50 plus two equals 352. And number five, 100 plus 70 plus six equals 176. Good work. Today's skill focus. Today we are going to learn how to tell temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. You can use a thermometer to measure the temperature. Some thermometers have a special liquid inside of them that rises when it gets warmer and falls when it gets cooler. So the hotter the temperature, the higher the liquid will go inside the thermometer. Thermometers can be used to measure many different things. We can use, we can measure the temperature inside and outside. We can check the temperature of our bodies and we can check the temperature of food we are cooking. When we are cooking, we set the temperature in the oven to cook the food just right. When we are measuring temperature, we measure it in special units called degrees. Remember when we learned about measuring length? We learned that there are different units we could use to measure the length of an object. When we are measuring the temperature, we can use a special symbol so we do not have to write the word degrees each time. The special symbol is a small circle at the top right corner of the number. Well, there are different temperature scales that can be used to measure how hot or cold it is. The unit we see most often are Fahrenheit and Celsius. There are many important temperatures to remember in our world. For example, Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. And the normal temperature of our body is around 98 degrees Fahrenheit and 37 degrees Celsius. There are many types of thermometers out there, so when you use one, you need to look at it carefully. Some thermometers are digital like a digital clock, and they give you digits for the temperature. Other thermometers have lines on it, and you need to find the temperature similar to an analog clock. When you are using a ther thermometer with liquid in it, we need to look to see where the liquid ends to determine the temperature. Let's try some examples. Look carefully at the thermometer and see if you can tell what the temperature is. If you guess 19 degrees Fahrenheit and three degrees Celsius, you are correct. Take a look at this one. If you guess 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 13 degrees Celsius, you are correct. Let's look at the last one. If you guessed 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 33 degrees Celsius, you are correct again. Great work, friends. Now we are going to continue talking about time, specifically how it is measured in days, in weeks, and months. To work with this kind of time, we would not use a clock. We would use a calendar. A calendar is a chart that keeps track of time. Just like people use clocks to plan their day, many people use calendars to plan out their week, month, or year. 
People usually write the important things on their calendar. A calendar can keep track of the days of the week. There are seven days in one week. Today is Monday. The, it's the 11th. The next Monday is seven days later, and it will be the 18th. There are 12 months in one year. The year starts with January. Then there's February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and finally December. Some months are 30 days long, while other months are 31 days. That is, except for February. February only has 28 days. However, every four years we have a leap year and February will have 29 days. Most years have 365 days. That is because it takes 365 days for the Earth to orbit or go around the sun. However, the truth is that it takes 365 days and a few hours to go around the sun. In order to make up for the extra hours, we have a leap year every four years and add a 29th day to February. One important thing to know about the calendar is how to write the date. When you are writing the date, you first write the month, the number of the day, followed by a comma, and then the year. For example, today we would write May 11, 2020. Each month is assigned a number. If I told you that January was assigned the number one, and February was assigned the number two, and March was assigned the number three, what numbers will we use for the remainder of the month? Can you guess? If we were to write today's date with only numbers, it would be 5 slash 11 slash 2020. Now it's your turn. Print or copy this on a sheet of paper, complete it, and upload it to your portfolio on Class Dojo. Happy learning, friends!